In the earlier versions of G4, you had to do four clicks to add a constraint. First to select one part and an element from it, and then to select another part and an element from it. Now you can do the same thing with just two clicks. First you select a constraint, then the element of the first part, and lastly the element of the second part. Sometimes the desired element is not visible or you aren't able to point it. If this happens, you can select the two parts in which the elements belong while holding control button down. After that, select the constraint and point the elements. In this case, G4 works just like in the earlier versions. When the constraint is selected, some of the parts get thicker edges. This means that those parts are underdefined and they need more constraints. When the part is enough defined, the edges change back to normal. When you hold the cursor over a part, there opens a tip window which contains information about the part. In the lower part of the window, there's information about the part's constraints. Not all parts have to be fully defined. For example, screws can have accepted freedoms. Then the screw is enough defined, but it can still be rotated. Settings for these new functions can be found from the Preferences menu. Selecting Model Presentation and Draw Edges makes sure that underdefined parts are drawn with thicker edges. Selecting Drawings and Models and Show Geometry Tip in Cursor makes sure that the tip window is shown for parts.